We live in a society where success is gauged as being wealthy, respected or famous. But how do you define success? On this episode, we meet an imaginative and expressive individual. An entertainer whose journey isn't what meets the eye. Hi, my name is Alikhan Zarathia, and this is my success story. I've always known I wanted to become an actor, a performer, right from a very young age. But little did I know I needed to prepare for it. And what was life's way to make me prepare? When I was born, I was premature number one. And the doctors had told my parents that this kid ain't going to make it. Ha, lo and behold, I did survive. Picture of Ibaki here. And that was my first stint with uh, becoming a fighter. After that, as I grew up, I started doing anything to get attention, dancing, impressions. And I started doing impressions and guys are like, hey, you sound like this one. And my first impression that I actually learned was Amitabh Bachchan. Guys are like, hey, you sound like him. I'm like, acha. But coming from an Indian family, when you tell your parents you want to become an actor, get into films, right from a young age, it's like, acha, theek hai, lekin you need to get an education. So that's exactly what I did. I finished my my primary school here, right to form three. And then I moved to Canada. I did my first degree in business administration and marketing. Moved to Switzerland for hotel management. That's all for dad. And then I said, okay, I got to go and pursue my dream. What is my oxygen? Acting, film, entertainment. I moved to India and to try and pursue the actual dream. I enrolled in Anupam Kher's actor papers. And, you know, you had this notion, I'm going to go to Mumbai, I'm a star, Banuga, I'll be a big star. Within the first week, you pretty much come, down, come to the ground and you realize, boss, you're one in 1.3 billion. And you understand the gravity of the situation. When I went to the school, people don't take you seriously. Like, you are one of one in a billion. So nobody cares. I went for my first audition. I got rejected within five seconds, not because of the audition. The casting director came out and said, yes, yes, no, no, no. All the yeses come in, all the noes out. First audition, you've come to Mumbai, my star, I'll be a big star, and you get crushed. Because in your mind, it's just filled. My world is filled, my oxygen is filled. And rejection after rejection, it's like somebody stepping on the oxygen pipe. And yeah, it's, it's tough. And then after two years, I said, you know, if I have to remain sane, I need to leave, even if it's for a break, take a break. And I convinced myself to leave because every time I wanted to leave, I said, no, what if my break comes now? What if my break comes now? I made the decision. I booked my ticket. I came back home. And believe me, like it's, it's the worst feeling in the world. You're coming, feeling crushed. I come and everybody's like, wow, what happened? What happened? What do I tell you? You just like pretty much die inside. I would come to the factory. I, would jo I joined my father and I, I, I told myself, this is it, you know? And even when I was here, I mean, I'm smiling to the world, but inside I'm dying because I know this is it. Have I, have I been put onto earth to do this? Day after day, day after day, you do the same thing. And then um, I started getting confidence. You know, your, your support system needs to be there. Fortunately for me, my family and my friends were there for me. And they was like, no, you know, believe me, there is talent in you. You start questioning everything. There is talent, try this, try this. I asked myself one question. You've got two choices. Number one, Either you go to accept this is who I am, this is who I will be, and that is it, my story is done, picture khalas. Ya dusra, second option, is say, you know what, where I am today is not where I'm going to be tomorrow. Yes, so far it hasn't worked out. That doesn't mean that it'll never work out. So either play a victim or 
play a fighter and win. I started doing shows. I started emceeing again. I emceed for Anu Malik. He had come in for a show and uh, the people around me, the friends had told these guys that he does impressions. They heard my impressions like, we don't care, we want you. So that gave me a little confidence that, they, okay, fine. I wrote the script and the show went really, really well. It went so well, I kind of overpowered the guy and he came on stage and like, if you don't clap for me, I'll clap for myself. And it was, you know, that, that small spark that, man, maybe, you know, and that hope. And that happened. So I started doing more MC gigs. And there's a time I was doing a gig and somebody actually saw me in the audience and said, you're funny, you got a good voice. Why didn't you try for radio? I thought about it, I fought with the demon inside, I said, what should I do? Like, hell with it, you know, I don't want to do it. And then I'm like, I don't have the gig. How much more will I not have it? Might as well just go for the audition. What's the worst that can happen? That was my mindset, detachment from the end, from the outcome. I went, I was successful for the first, first round, second round, third round, I'm like, maybe there's something to this. And Lo and behold, I was actually signed for the breakfast breakfast show on East FM. It, that was ecstatic for me, from feeling absolutely worthless to somebody saying, hey, you know what, take the breakfast show. It was scary, but I, I told myself, I'm not going to be a victim, I'm going to fight. Then I started getting um, into media, into uh, print, into films, and I have things coming up in the pipeline as well. Sometimes, you know, when you are on the wrong path, life comes and knocks you to take you on the right track. At that particular time, you are asking yourself, why is this happening? Why is this happening? Like, why me? You know? Um, but when you connect the dots back, you realize everything happens for a reason. I'm Ali Khan Sarathia, an actor, radio presenter, model, and a writer. And this is my success story.